applicant tracking systems are for transactional jobs where people dump their resume into a system and it looks for keywords and it screens you out for transactional jobs. C-level executives, I right? think of it this way. You're a CEO of an organization and you're looking to bring in a CFO. Are you going to funnel through the 800 resumes that are getting dumped in your ATS system looking for somebody to sit at the table with you? No, you're not. You're going to a headhunter. You have your internal talent hunting those people. Applicant tracking systems are not applicable to anybody on this call. Period, end of story. If you dump your resume in there, you're going to get rejected and you blew all your chances in that company because the system already nicks you. They're not looking for you in there. So when I hear that, I'm like, okay, I haven't done my job yet of explaining the world that you're in because you're not in Fenway. You're still talking to me like you're somewhere else. It's a totally different job search at your level, folks. Okay. You're going to, you, it's going to come to you in two ways, basically, primarily. Your next job is going to come to you because you have a compelling LinkedIn profile because that's where people go to look for talent. In fact, VCs and PEs, I know from personal experience in my world, they go right to LinkedIn and they call you. So off the bat, when I meet with every executive, before I even look at LinkedIn, I ask the question, are you getting calls for jobs that you're interested in? And most of the time I hear, not real. So without looking at that, I know it's not working for you. If you don't have a compelling LinkedIn profile and you're not getting calls for the jobs you're looking for, you need to fix your LinkedIn profile because that's how people find you, right? The other way you're going to find your job is through networking. Probably most of you have gotten your last several jobs for the last decade through networking because that's when I get the call because I've never had to look for a job before. What do I do? So you already know networking is key. So how you network, the collateral you have for network, how you approach it is going to be key also. So the minute I hear ATS systems, I'm like, really? You want to be in Fenway? That's not you. What I really want to say is congratulations, everybody. And I tell, you've been successful. I talk to the most successful people like all of you. And then they, they have no idea why they're not finding a job. And I hear ATS systems. And that's when I talk about Fenway. Congratulations. You're beyond that. We know you're successful. They know you know how to do things now. Now, how am I going to pick the best day player? And that's where you have to have your sales and marketing plan. So be thankful you're not dealing with ATS systems, folks. It's very frustrating. Keywords, ATS. If you want a middle manager job, that's what you need. Not for you. 